Copy the incomplete axes and fill in the missing numbers to make the scaling consistent. All right, this is problem 363, one of my favorite problems, and it's talking about what are we counting by? Um, when we get a problem like this, we want to make sure that um, our intervals here are equal distances apart, so that we're counting by the same thing. So if I start at 0 and I get to 16 and I have 1, 2, 3, four parts to get there, I'm thinking, well, 16 from 0 to 16, we have 16 numbers to go, and it's split into four parts, so 16 divided into four equal parts is four per part. So that's what I would be counting by. So that would be 0, this would be 4, another 4 would get me, oh, another 4 would get me 8, another 4 would get me 12, and then that last 4 would get me 16. Um, and then another 4 on top of that would get me 20. So that's what I would do. So using that same idea here, um, from 0 to 50, I have to represent 50 numbers somehow. Um, and I think I have only two, two intervals to, to do that. So 50 split evenly um, by 2 into two parts is 25 per interval. So that must mean I'm counting by 25s to get there. So 0, um, that must be 25, that's 50. And then another 25 would make 75, that's 100, that's 125, and then 150. All right, everybody, have a great day.